Thank you so much, and uh, it's definitely the AM show, and uh, we're hosting it right here from the Labadi Beach Hotel, it's precisely the Omanye Hall. And we're discussing SME resilience in the face of technology, which has become a critical issue in these trying times for the whole world. Well, that's just one bank that has decided to take the bold step to venture into a space that many will not like to go into. The SME space, quite a difficult terrain, yet Access Bank says, Yes, they can. And then together with us at Joy Business and Graphic, we've decided to put this together. Um, so I will go straight to who is my guest for the next 20 minutes um, to share with us exactly why we're here today. Shang, so you are the originators of the idea. Share with our viewers exactly what to expect in the next 20 minutes. All right, thank you very much, Adelia, and um, good morning to your viewers and also your listeners as well. Um, though we are the originators, but we, we can't do this alone, so we actually partner with uh, one of the biggest um, public corporations in Ghana, which is the um, Graphic Communications Group. Um, in the next 20 minutes, or in the next, now from now to the future, um, we thought of giving attention to the SMEs. Um, it's been a very topical issue that in the past few months, since the lockdown or the pandemic hit us, um, in the business space, the most um, um, affected people or the businesses were, or are still the SMEs. So we decided to come together and understand these people because we understand them, we know that they have issues. So the bank has come together with graphic to so partner ourselves for the growth of SMEs. Um, if you move from um, when before the pandemic to now, uh, most SMEs who have not innovated or moved onto digital platforms either have slowed down in their growth or probably have actually missed along the way. So now we are coming to the fore to run the space with them and uh, have given them a platform to tell them what needs to be done to probably upscale and improve. And also, you know, any business will move from, first of all, um, digitizing to getting more customers. We also have to move to digitizing to sell more of their products. And of course, the most important part is to receive their payments. So if this ecosystem of SME business is what we thought we should come into the line, 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 line for and give them the platform to probably improve their business and grow. So that's why we are here. With, um, Graphic communications group. Thank you. But that's not uh, the the norm for a bank. Yeah. Um, what you will ideally deal with is money and yeah. not, you know, technology. Yeah. Why is Access Bank doing this? Um, our mantra, I have a very simple mantra that I'm sure everybody's familiar with, which is called uh, modern banking. And uh, this is part of our proposition. And um, like you rightly said, um, our, our, our drive is just to talk about money and make profits and all that. But we can't make profits if these businesses do not also um, um, grow or improve. Um, rightly said, by, by, uh, there was a, there was a uh, statistic that just came out recently that said that um, SMEs form about 80% of the businesses in the, in the economy. So it means that they're a huge chunk of who's making the economy engine roll. So we as a bank thought that um, if you actually look at the communities we're operating, we'll find these people there. Um, so why is, why is it not going to be important for us to actually help them um, sustain their business? Just partner them to grow. I mean, we want to move SMEs to grow to become even the bigger corporates and play in a bigger um, space, but at the global level. So that's why it's very interesting to us to take up this um, challenge and um, change the narrative for SMEs and let them know that there's a bank which is actually thinking about them. And if there's any partner they have to work through to build their business with, of course, it's Access Bank. Mm. Um, here for us, we in the business space yeah. have had the figures fly over our heads mm. from some 700,000 people who have actually um, lost part of their income to the fact that about 90% of the people employed in this uh, particular space fall within the SME group. Um, so when you were teaming up with um, Access Bank together with us to put this together, what was running through your mind in terms of objectives and achievements? Um, in terms of objectives and achievements, so let me take you back um, with your preamble. We, we need to, you are a business and you don't operate in an island. You, you have stakeholders and your stakeholders are your customers, are your readers, are your audience. So whatever affects them affects you directly and indirectly. So you must, you must always look out for them. You must always ensure that they are, they are fine, they have sustainable incomes, their businesses are doing well. So when the pandemic emerged and things went bad for all of them, we were concerned and we're like, look, what can we do to help? We are a media house. We, we don't have the financial and the business expertise to help SMEs. 
But what we have with the platform, we are um, advocacy uh, group. So we decided that, look, let's partner with um, Access and let's leverage on their expertise and together we can bring all these businesses together and see how we can help them build resilient um, balance sheets, help them uh, build resilient, um, what do you call it, businesses. And how best can you do it? By leveraging on technology. Because now technology is what we are now I mean, used to. We are used to now because of COVID. COVID has now pushed it up to us. And also, it's cheaper and it's easier way of doing business. Okay. So, the, uh, so the whole essence is to help them get off their, I mean, ground and help them keep, I mean, going. So one of the biggest challenges that the um, SMEs have is issues relating to location, is issues relating to access to finance. Um, what will this day's event speak to achieve um, when it comes to the conversation? Beyond that, what are the actionable things that we would like the SMEs to do? Okay, very well, Cordelia. Thank you for that question. And um, I think uh, right on the spot when it comes to issue of, of, of place, uh, I think the reason why the um, theme for this event is um, boosting SMEs resilience to data solutions is basically to say that you, you shouldn't be limited by space. Because um, um, if you look at all the likes of businesses happening around the world, everybody is digitizing. Internet of Things is changing things. And um, look at the transportation, you look at Uber and Co. Like and that. Internet of yes. Things is changing, changing things. things. <laughs> um, the both the, the Uber, the Airbnb, you don't need to be in those places to actually um, enjoy um, services. People just want to have things on the go. Um, so the same applies to SME businesses, even to banking. I'm sure um, back in the days, I have to walk into a branch to do my banking or uh, open it, uh, get a check to be um, probably um, checked out for me. But now I can sit back in my house, even right here, well, if you allow me the cameras off, I can do a simple banking right here. So SMEs now have that platform, one on time they have a platform to actually start the business, actually run the business ecosystem while staying in a very comfortable place. Um, likes of Access Bank, we have the products they probably need to either sell their products and collect their money. We have that. Um, when it also comes to the issue of what they should expect, what we want to do is to help them change the narrative. Um, a chunk of them still runs business um, I don't know whether it's an issue of change, but change is a constant thing. There's been a paradigm shift going forward from this interaction to the SMEs who join us today to understand that they don't have to do their business while they have to um, expect people to come to them. They can create a business, they can expand the business while they sit in the comfort of their, of, of their, of their either offices or their homes. And for us, this is not the last of the SME we are going to have. Um, I can guarantee you that. One of consistently engage the SMEs. It, it's not supposed to be an outside, inside out for us. It's an outside in. We want to listen to them, what they would need for them to actually thrive in, in their business. So um, for us, issue of, of, of place and space, it shouldn't be a concern at all because we want the SMEs to know that now they can even run their businesses comfortably, sell their businesses on a digital space, collect their money, which is important to them, on digital space. Um, also understand how to run businesses, how to get their finances done, how to do their taxation, all of these issues are some things we are going to be deep, uh, deep diving into as we go along, starting from today. So I think SMEs who are in the country, we, we, we have plans for them, and we have to. We are, we, are, we, are, we are hoping that from these interactions, they can actually upscale and grow and even become a big corporate. And of course, we'll be at the tail end of that story when such SMEs actually grow. Ready Thank you. to collect the money? Yes. <laughs> Now, now, now uh, what you were talking, one of the key things that came to my mind um, after reading a, a World Bank document um, in 2018, um, stating that one of the most difficult things in this country um, when it comes to really penetration, uh, when, it, it, when you're looking at technology, is the infrastructure. You are actually whipping up interest. Yes for people to use digital solutions. But the issue is, are these, uh, are the infrastructure available for them to really use? So that someone sits in Kungu Yoyo has very little um, access to internet. Well, I know that there's some rural uh, work that is being done by the Ministry of Communication, but how does this become an impediment in your way whilst you're talking resilience in a digital world? Um, I mean, also a very absolutely good question. Um, you know, 
accepting um, change is not something that you do as an event. It's, it's, a, it's an ongoing thing. I remember when mobile money came, some of us had skepticism for it. We didn't want to jump into it. We don't know where our money is going to, know who is collecting it. But now, uh, when it comes to those who are the rural, rural background, who actually also want to run SMEs, data is not a far cry for them because um, when we talk about even mobile money um, 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 exchanges, it's also technology. Yes, it so is. somebody can actually send their goods to Accra from a rural environment yeah, to transportation. You can even get to um, uh, order a ride to move your goods from wherever your, your company is in the rural location and you get your money paid. So a digital platform. You don't need to actually expect somebody to walk into your shop and put money in your hand. So um, th th this event is not supposed to be a one-off thing. It's a petition process retention. We have to talk about it consistently because um, it's supposed to be a grand up approach or even top-down approach where if the big um, SMEs who are the known ones have accepted it, of course, they will trickle down to the ecosystem. Yeah. These SMEs have ecosystem. So of course, if, if somebody starts it, somebody takes it up and it becomes something more acceptable by, by, by the SME economy. And we believe that um, such a, an event we have created and with graphic communication, pushing this communication down to the truth of um, SMEs in the rural environment, they will understand that the world has changed and they understand that the way to survive now is through this um, um, technology drive. And the pandemic, of course, actually changed almost everybody's mindset. Almost every bank now, including Access Bank, have moved away directly, even in communicating their products to things of more um, digital background. So um, it, with a matter of a little while, I'm sure, even SMEs in Ghana, no matter how small, even the very micro one of them, or even the smaller scale of them, will understand the importance of digital. Because without digital, of course, they might probably either um, lose out and not upscale. So, I mean, that, that answers Thank it. you very much, Sharon. Thank you very much, Theophilus, for setting the tone for the discussion. Um, we definitely will take a break. My name is Odilene Tramwa. Um, don't go away. We're taking a quick break. We definitely will be right back to give you the meat of what the discussion is going to be today.